Ever wondered what the terms broken bond, straight bond, spreading a towel means? Then stay tuned. Hi everyone, Sonica here from Mali Roofing. In today's video we will cover how to set out roof tiles and why this process is never a waste of your time. In fact, it actually speeds up the whole process of roof tiling. It can also prevent a lot of problems such as unequal overhangs at your verges and unnecessary tile cutting. We've included timestamps in this video. So if there are certain parts that are of interest to you, please feel free to skip ahead. Before we continue with today's video, just a special thanks to Prava. The Professional Roof Repair and Waterproofing Association of South Africa, where this video will be shot. If you'd like to find out more about Prava and all the good work they do to uplift the skills of people in our industry, click on the link in the description below. Before tiling, consider which tiling practice would best suit the tile profile you have. Monray explains. Hi Monray, I see uh, you've now done all the back and spacing and everything. Um, so I remember you mentioning something about like the 320 spacing. Yes. So um, is that for some other overlap with the tile? So what is the overlap of the tile now currently then? What you will see is the batten spacing comes out exactly 120 millimeters and that automatically gives you a 100 millimeter overlap of your tile, which is the minimum requirements for a modern profile. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay. I must say something I've noticed, I see you've packed it so that, the, so that the lines don't line up. So usually I see on a roof they do it like that. So why did you do it in this specific pattern? Very important for a modern roof tile, it must be laid broken bond. Some um, people, they call it a brick bond. Okay, so is that what this pattern is called? That is what it's called. It's a broken bond and the reason for that is uh, so for your water channel to be equally spread over the roof when the water flows. So let's say for example, if you pack it a straight bond, your water will flow directly into the water channel and that might cause leakages. So it's very important to get the water spread over your roof equally. Oh, I understand. So in other words, when all the lines are lining up, it just the channel cannot handle that much water and it might push back under the tile. That is correct, yes. And okay. it's very, very, it's actually, it's compulsory to have it packed broken boards. I understand. Yes. I wanted to ask you, so, okay, now with this pattern, you are going to need like the little half tiles, but as far as I understand, Marley doesn't manufacture half tiles. So what do you then do? Yes, what you do is exactly, uh, you will see there's three holes in the um, in the tile. Oh, okay. The two on the side is for the nails, and the yes. one in the middle is basically gives you the middle of the tile where you cut it through. Oh. So this half of the tile is prob is going to fit here. Exactly. Oh, okay. Yes. I, was, I was always wondering, why do the moderns have three nail holes and a lot of the other tiles only two? So that explains it. It's a guideline, basically, uh, to make it easier for you on site. Yes, but also so that you've got like a little extra hole so that once you've cut the tile in half, you at least still have like a nailing hole should you need to, to nail. 100% correct, yes. I understand. Yeah. Okay, and I see this side, we have got um, the Mali Double Roman. So this one is now packed again in a different way. So I assume the reason why we packed it this way is because it's got like a natural channel, it will allow more of the water to flow. 100% correct, yes. As you can see, this is packed straight bond and you have both water channels basically where the water can flow off as quickly as possible from the roof. I see. I must say, I think it might be a lot easier to work with this kind of roof than the Mali Modern. It is slightly easier, yes. Okay. All right. Well, um, I think because we've chosen the Mali Modern, shall we start uh, packing the tile? Yes, 100%. Okay. Let's proceed. In addition to always using broken bond with Mali Moderns, we also advise to spread the tiles as Monray explains. Monray, I see that you're fiddling with these tiles quite a bit and I see that you're like trying to push them out and spread them out. Why are you doing that? Okay, uh, modern tile is very, very important. Um, as you know that uh, normally when a roof is packed tight, everyone complaining with water breakages. So what you actually need to do is, when you lay your tile, when you interlock it, 
What you need to do is just pull it slightly apart. It needs to give you that two to three millimeter gap. If you don't have, have the gap, you're going to have problems going forward. Not now, maybe in the near future. Oh, it's very important to have this gap here. Oh, I understand it because I'm not, I must say it makes sense to me. If you think about a roof, it, it's I mean it, a roof is constructed mainly out of wood. Wood contracts and it expands and it contracts. Yes. So um, as that happens, I assume that you also need to make sure that you you leave like a little bit of a leeway for some movement, so that uh, you don't have unnecessary pressure points that can cause breakages. That is hundred percent. Now that we have decided on the best tiling practice we can start loading the roof tiles on the roof. The roof should be loaded evenly on either side from top to bottom by placing stacks of six tiles between every second batten on top of the rafters. Note that tiling should always be done from the right to the left, working from the bottom up in widths of three tiles, though there are cases, like with us, where the valley or the hip is on the right hand side and where it will be more convenient to set out from the left but tiling will still proceed from right to left. First start by laying a course of tiles over the full length of the eaves and the apex, starting with the desired overhang at the right hand verge. When reaching the left hand, it will become apparent whether you need to adjust the verge overhang and using the play on the side lock to achieve whole tile units without cutting. This works especially well for straight bond tiling where one tile sits on top of another and the side lock joins up. Once you are happy that the top and the bottom lines are in alignment, mark each third tile position on the battens and strike a perpendicular chalk line from eave to ridge at the intervals marked. This will ensure that the roof tiles are truly perpendicular and the only way to ensure a perfect tiling with straight rows and perfect alignment on the left hand verge. That concludes today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like and comment. We would really love to hear your feedback. And if you have any suggestions, please let us know in terms of the content that you would like to see. That's it for today. Until the next time.